Welcome to Simply Explained Academy. If you're curious about cryptocurrency, but feel like all the talk about blockchains and digital coins just goes over your head, don't worry, you're not alone. Today, we're diving into Ethereum, one of the most popular cryptocurrencies out there. But here's the thing, Ethereum is so much more than just digital money. It's like a supercomputer that's running across the world. Intrigued? Let's break it all down. Alright, let's start simple. What is Ethereum? You've probably heard people mention it alongside Bitcoin. But while Bitcoin is mostly about being digital money, Ethereum is like a big digital playground where developers can build all kinds of apps. Think of Ethereum as a huge network like the internet, but instead of websites, people build programs called smart contracts. We'll get into those later. In 2015, a young programmer named Vitalik Buterin created Ethereum. He saw what Bitcoin could do and thought, what if we could take this technology and do way more with it? And that's exactly what he did. So Ethereum isn't just money. It's a platform. It's a world where you can send money, create digital art, play games, and even borrow or lend funds, all without relying on a middleman like a bank or a company. But how is Ethereum different from Bitcoin? Let's quickly compare Ethereum to Bitcoin since most people think they're the same thing. Here's the big difference. Bitcoin is like gold. It's valuable, limited, and mostly used to store wealth or make payments. Ethereum, on the other hand, is like the internet. It's a place where things happen. Think of Bitcoin as the calculator on your phone. It does one job really well, math. Ethereum is like your smartphone. Sure, it has a calculator, but it can also do thousands of other things. You can play games, send messages, check social media, and many more. Another big difference is speed. Bitcoin is pretty slow when it comes to transactions. Ethereum is faster and can handle more tasks at once. Okay, now let's talk about smart contracts. This is where Ethereum really shines. So what's a smart contract? It's not a piece of paper or a legal document. It's actually a piece of code, a tiny program that lives on the Ethereum network. Here's a fun example. Imagine you and I make a bet. I say it's gonna rain tomorrow, but you're convinced it'll be sunny. Now, instead of just trusting each other to pay up, we use a smart contract. This little piece of code holds our money and checks the weather for us the next day. If it rains, boom, I get the money. If it's sunny, you do. No arguments, no chasing each other down for payment. The smart contract just does its thing automatically. Pretty cool, right? Now, what are dApps? Smart contracts are cool, but they're just the beginning. On Ethereum, developers can combine smart contracts to create dApps, short for decentralized applications. These are like regular apps, but instead of running on a company's server, they run on the Ethereum network. Here are some examples of what people are doing with dApps. There are games where you can own items, characters, or even virtual land as NFTs, digital collectibles that you truly own. You can borrow money or earn interest without needing a bank, and you can create and sell digital art as NFTs. Dapps are still pretty new, but they're growing fast. They're a big reason why Ethereum is so exciting. Now, what is Ether? You've probably heard of Ether, which is Ethereum's cryptocurrency. Think of it like the fuel for the Ethereum network. To do anything on Ethereum, whether it's sending money or creating a smart contract, you need Ether. It's like a ticket to enter the Ethereum world. And just like Bitcoin, people can buy, sell, and trade Ether. Some people use it to invest, hoping its value will grow over time. Others use it to participate in the Ethereum ecosystem. So, how does Ethereum actually work? Ethereum runs on a technology called blockchain. You can think of a blockchain like a public diary, where every transaction is written down in permanent ink. Once something is written, it can't be erased or changed. This makes Ethereum super secure and transparent. Everyone on the network can see what's happening, but no one can cheat the system. Ethereum is also decentralized, meaning it's not controlled by one person, company, or government. Instead, it's powered by thousands of computers around the world, called nodes. Now, what is proof of stake? You might have heard the term proof of stake when people talk about Ethereum. Basically, this is how Ethereum keeps its network secure. People who own Ether can stake it, basically locking it up for a while to help verify transactions and keep the system running. In return, they earn more Ether as a reward. This system replaced Ethereum's older system Proof of Work, which required powerful computers to solve puzzles. Proof of Stake is faster and uses way less energy, which is better for the environment. So, why do people believe in Ethereum? People are excited about Ethereum because it's so much more than just a digital currency. It's like a toolbox for building the future. 
Developers all over the world are coming up with creative, game-changing ideas and apps that live on Ethereum. It's constantly evolving, and that's what makes it so exciting. Also, no one owns Ethereum. There's no big corporation or government calling the shots. It's powered by its community, making it fairer, more inclusive, and really about the people who use it. Plus, everything on Ethereum is out in the open, completely public, and verifiable. No hidden stuff, no shady backdoors. And it doesn't matter where you are in the world. As long as you've got an internet connection, you can access Ethereum and be part of this global movement. That's why so many people are all in on Ethereum. It's open, it's flexible, and it's bursting with potential. All right, let's dive into what you can actually do with Ethereum. First up, you can make payments. If you need to send money to a friend halfway across the world, Ethereum's got you covered. No banks, no middlemen, just a direct transaction, simple and fast. Then there's investing. Some people buy Ether, which is Ethereum's currency, thinking its value might go up over time. It's kind of like buying stock, but instead, you're betting on the future of a digital ecosystem. And let's not forget dApps. That's short for decentralized apps. These are like regular apps, but built on Ethereum's blockchain. You can explore all kinds of things, from finance tools, to games, and even social platforms. There are also NFTs. You've probably heard about those crazy expensive digital artworks and collectibles. A lot of that happens on Ethereum. But it's not just about art. You can own virtual music or even moments in sports. Lastly, borrowing or lending money. Imagine taking out a loan or earning interest without having to deal with a bank. Ethereum makes that possible too, thanks to decentralized finance. So Ethereum isn't just digital money. It's like an all-in-one platform for doing all kinds of exciting things. So, let's talk about something important. Is Ethereum safe? Like anything online, it has its pros and cons. First, the good stuff. Ethereum is decentralized, which means there's no central system that can fail or get taken down. That's a big deal when it comes to security. Plus, transactions are protected by cryptography. That's advanced code that makes hacking into Ethereum really difficult. But here's the flip side. Scams and hacks still happen, especially when you're dealing with dApps or if you fall for phishing attacks. And here's the kicker. If you lose your private key, which is like your Ethereum password, you're out of luck. That's your access to your funds, and there's no forgot my password button here. Lose it, and your money is gone forever. So, what's the takeaway? Ethereum can be safe, but you've got to play your part. Do your homework, double-check everything, and be cautious. A little extra care can go a long way. All right, Ethereum isn't perfect, and it's got its fair share of challenges, so let's talk about them. First up, scalability. When a ton of people are trying to use Ethereum at the same time, things can get slow and pricey. Transactions take longer, and fees go up. It's like rush hour traffic, but for a blockchain. Then there's the competition. Platforms like Solana are stepping up, trying to do what Ethereum is doing, but with fewer hiccups. They're faster, cheaper, and pretty appealing to developers. So, Ethereum's not exactly sitting on the throne unchallenged. And don't forget regulation. Governments around the world are still figuring out what to do with cryptocurrencies. Are they currencies? Are they assets? Are they something else entirely? Nobody really knows yet, and that uncertainty can hold things back. But here's the good news. Ethereum's community is constantly working on improvements. You've probably heard of the merge. It was a big upgrade designed to make the network faster, cheaper, and way more efficient. So while there are hurdles, Ethereum's not just sitting there, it's evolving. So, what's next for Ethereum? The future looks bright. As more people and companies adopt Ethereum, its value and importance are likely to grow. Developers are building more apps, and upgrades are making the network better every year. Some people believe Ethereum could be the foundation for the Internet of the future, a more open, fair, and decentralized web. Whether you want to use it, invest in it, or just learn about it, Ethereum is worth paying attention to. So, Ethereum is more than just a cryptocurrency. It's a whole ecosystem of innovation. Whether you're into tech, finance, or just curious about the future, Ethereum has something to offer. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with friends, and subscribe to the channel. If you want to know even more about crypto, watch this video.